Jeff Rothorn for Get Out There Magazine and I'm in Ancaster, Ontario at the Sulphur Springs Trail Run. There's something for everyone today with distances from 10k all the way through to 100 miles. We're almost ready to start, let's go check it out. The Sulphur Springs Trail Run starts behind the Ancaster Community Center and runs through the beautiful Dundas Valley Conservation Area on groomed trails. The longer distance events run a 20 kilometer route multiple times. The course is primarily made up of rolling hills with a few flat sections and a number of notable climbs, which are pretty evenly spread out throughout the course. Thankfully, most of the trails are sheltered from the sun by the dense tree canopy. Some of the highlights of the Dundas Valley Conservation Area include the lush Carolinian forests, streams and cascades, rare plants and birds, and plenty of wildlife. The 50 and 100 mile races started at 6 a.m., which meant that the runners could get in a couple of loops before the hottest part of the day, which this year was extremely hot. Slowing down and staying cool was imperative for most runners, which meant that it was very difficult to run a personal best, but remarkably, the 100 mile course record was broken this year. The course is beautiful from start to finish, and although there are plenty of hills, the trails are mainly non-technical, with not a lot of single track, and it's usually a fast course. The wide trails meant that runners could easily pass one another and avoid congestion on the trails. The route was very well marked for both day and night running. The volunteers at the aid stations were amazing, and even though there were close to 1,000 runners between the different events, by the night time they knew the 100 milers by name and showed an exceptional level of care for the runners. Well, I'm about 108 kilometers into the 100 mile race. Trail conditions are perfect. It has just been incredibly hot today. So I'm looking forward to the sun setting, which should happen about half an hour from now. Uh, the race directors did a fantastic job of making sure there were lots of drinks at all the aid stations and ice, and they did everything that they could to keep the runners as comfortable as possible. In the early hours of the morning, after being on the course for over 19 hours, a thunderstorm finally broke the heat. And although it made the trails wet, the rain felt great. We certainly had to work for our buckles this year. This is Jeff Rothorn for Get Out There Magazine, wishing you happy trails.